First, create a blank Microsoft Word document. Go to the Mailings tab and then select Labels. Select Options. Select New Label. Type in a new label name. Make sure your page size is correct. For our labels, your page should be set for either letter, 8.5 by 11, or legal, 8.5 by 14. Enter your label height. Enter your label width. Note that Microsoft Word does not recognize circles. They will show up as squares instead. Enter the number across. This is how many labels are across the sheet from left to right. Enter the number down. This is how many labels run vertically from the top of the sheet to the bottom of the sheet. Enter the top margin. This is the space from the top of the label to the top of the sheet. Enter the side margin. This is the space from the edge of the label to the edge of the sheet. Enter the vertical pitch. This is the space from the top edge of the label to the top of the label underneath it. Basically, it's the length of the label plus the size of the vertical space between the labels. Enter the horizontal pitch. This is the space from the left edge of the label to the left edge of the label next to it. Basically, it's the width of the label plus the horizontal space between the labels. Select OK. Your new label template will appear under the product number. Select OK. Select New Document. If you can't see your labels, go to the Home tab. Under the Paragraph section, click on the Borders box and select View Grid Lines. To make sure your margins are correct, go to the Layout tab and select Custom Margins. Ensure the top, bottom, left, and right margins are correct. Then select OK. To remove the indent from your label, select the whole document and under the Layout tab, type in zero for the left and right indent. There you have it, your blank sheet label template is finished. Now add your label design to complete your sheet labels and print. In need of sheet labels? Visit smithcorona.com or give us a call at 1-800-875-7000.